Hello everyone, welcome back to Cheryl's Place. I'm Cheryl, and I have a special guest star today, the Rickster. It's me again. <laughs> Rickarolo again. All right, happy Vlogmas Day 5. Today is Monday, December 5th. So we are going to do Vlogmas Day 5. And um, yesterday we had some adventures. What was your favorite part of yesterday while we were in Chicago? Um, I don't know, walking around and seeing lots of people in the streets because uh, we don't really have that in Minneapolis. It's dead. <laughs> and here it's pretty vibrant. Yeah, Minneapolis is busy when there's events, but not so much day to day or evening activities, I guess, huh? No. We've seen a lot of decorations. We do have some buildings that decorate, um, like meaning lights on top of their buildings or whatever in Minneapolis, but not as many as here in Chicago. Yeah, there was a lot. Of, lots of buildings lit up, green yeah. and red. Mm -hmm. We took a few pictures. Maybe we'll try to get some more tonight and we'll post them. Um, maybe I'll do that on our way home or something. And um, But yeah, and then there's a lot of, way more decorations, I think, around. Lots of more Christmas trees and stuff yeah. everywhere. Mm -hmm. And then while we were walking around, when we crossed on bridges, was it the river or just the lake? Just the rivers. Rivers. Um, yeah, it looks like it's cement. Well, it is, it is cement, it, but it's not solid cement. It is uh, slabs where there is this little space you can see between them. So since it was all lit up last night, um, it looks like you're going to be falling when you're walking. I did not like that. I did not like that at all. So all of a sudden you're walking on solid, I mean like thick cement. Next thing you know, you're walking on this thin cement and then it would make a noise like when you walk on wood bridges. You know what that's going to be like, <laughs> Ober, but not, uh, I did not care for yeah, that. Yeah, it didn't seem very stable. <laughs> so that was um, interesting, and I'm sure I'll probably walk on more while we're here, and my heart will pitter-patter while we're doing it. So today we're going to do some more of the Chalk Zero chocolates. We'll start with the uh, milk chocolate, and it is uh, day five again. Oh, I've got a little Santa here. Does anyone want to guess? <laughs> guess? I'm hoping no duplicates. I'm really cool with whatever it is, as long as it's not duplicates, since we got that twice already. Rick, where do you think today's day five is going to be for milk mm, chocolate? A Christmas tree. You're going to guess Christmas tree? Okay, if anyone wants to guess, go ahead and guess down there. Let's see. I know this looks silly, but it's hard to pop these. Oh, there we go. I popped it open. I'm not going to look at it. I'm just going to show everybody what it is. I'll try to keep my fingers all the way this time. Oh, it's upside down. Oh, I see what it is. Oh, I think it's a Christmas tree. Yeah, we got, we got a Christmas tree today. All right, so we got a little Christmas tree. All right. Nailed it. Nailed it. <laughs> All right, what do you think uh, the dark chocolate's gonna be today, Rick? I'm going back to the gingerbread man. Oh yeah, you guessed that yesterday and we didn't get any. All right, well, let's see if we get a gingerbread man or whatever anyone else has guessed. Okay, no looking, trying not to see what it feels like. Oh, okay, it's a snow. Oh, it is a gingerbread man. Oh, oh it was two a snake. For two. Snake. Oh my goodness. Snowflake. Two for two. It is a gingerbread. There you go, right? Champion. All right. Do you want to try have one this morning? I don't want to break my teeth yet. Oh. <laughs> All right. Well, we just actually had breakfast, so we will save our chocolates to eat later. And um, they are obviously very delicious and creamy once you uh, bite through the solid. Plus, it's a little extra solid since it's colder where we're at. So today we have a bunch of fun activities. I hope everyone's having a wonderful Monday, whether you're at work or you, whatever you've got going on. I hope it's the best day you possibly can have. I was thinking, um, I was going to ask Rick, he doesn't know this. But um, I'm also asking you if you want to write it down in the comments. What is one of your favorite Santa memories, either as a child or as an adult? And this is for people who celebrate Christmas. I know there's a lot of people who don't celebrate and celebrate other holidays. So if you have a special holiday activity you would like to add in the comments, I truly would love to read it. But Rick, what's one like if you were a kid or as being an adult that you either, you know, did for somebody or somebody, you know. Probably when I was young and my brother was really young 
he thought he swore that he saw Santa flying through the sky and he swears to this day he saw Santa. So I think that's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah. It's good to have a good imagination. Yep. You might have been a little tired or super excited, heard a noise outside and... Yep. Yeah. So I'm trying to think of my... I think mine was... I mean, a kid, you're always excited no matter what. Um, you know, it's a small thing because, you know, that's all sometimes Santa could bring or um, whatever it could be. But mine was surprising my family as an adult. That was, those are my favorite ones, I think. I mean, kids are magical. Um, the sky's the limit when you're a child, and that's the best time, I think, the best feeling. But I think as um, an adult to do that for others and surprise them with things that maybe they weren't ever able to have or never thought you didn't realize that it was something that they would really enjoy or love so I think that's what I for myself all right well we're gonna wrap this up we have some activities to do and then we're gonna go out to a fancy well I just think it's fancy but you know fancy to us um, to celebrate our anniversary tonight oh that's it our, it's our true anniversary today 30 years of marriage happy anniversary rick happy anniversary we started dating in 1987 so we've actually been what 35 years 35 36 years together yeah, a long time <laughs> <laughs> at once it hits a certain time i guess it just just doesn't truly matter all right don't forget you are amazing you're always amazing we love you take care and sending all the best and love to everybody.